Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the actual um, AcroView uh, camera and recording. I've had a lot of questions about the actual plug-in, so I'm going to show you guys the actual way that I plug in my camera. So please stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how we do it, step by step with a really close view of it, okay? Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna chat a little bit about some of the things that we use. So first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Avermedia uh, device. This is the, the one that I choose. It's actually, um, it's made by Avermedia. It's a live portable gaming capture device. You'll notice on the side here, it says AV in, HDMI in, HDMI out, audio in, audio out. We won't be needing any of these. And so what we're gonna use is we're gonna use this device coupled with this part which comes with it. So this will come with the device, which is um, you'll obviously have a line in for audio, You'll and these are your USB, um, or sorry, your RCA uh, cords, or uh, these ones are component audio. The only one that we're gonna need is we're gonna use the green one. So the one that has the green line on it, this part, which is part of the Avermedia plug, okay, will actually come with the device you're gonna plug in to the device. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the device, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the device and we're actually gonna plug it into AV in. Okay, really, really simple, okay? And then you'll have these components hanging out. So again, the only color that we're gonna need is gonna be the green line that comes out of that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that green line and we're gonna take a RCA cable Okay, and this one is just a yellow one that I have. And what I do is I wrap them up. So I'll go like this, plug it into there, and then I'll also then plug it into the audio in on my thing here, okay, on my actual AquaView 715C, okay? Now, for this device to actually work, what I need to have happen with this is I also need to have a power supply in, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug a power line in on this device, right? Sorry, right here uh, will be my power line in. And what I use is I just use a small power bank. So this one is a solar panel bank that is a 50,000 mega amp uh, uh, battery bank. Um, and this one will typically last for a majority of the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a power supply in from there into there, okay? And this power supply is just the regular old style uh, clip. We'll go in and then what will happen is as soon as I plug this in and turn it on, so turn that on. What will happen is you'll see these lights will light up. Now it's not going to work right now because I don't have a USB card inside of there. But I'll just put a USB card inside of here. Okay, and then a micro C or if you have a full size uh, SD card. I just use the micros <clears throat> inside of here. And now I'm ready to record. So this will record everything. So what you'll see is I'll tape these little wires all up so that they're nice and neat and then have everything kind of compacted with using zip ties just so that I can leave it up on top of here. And I'll show you in a second what that'll look like. <clears throat> okay, so now I've got the full connection done. So I've got the white cable running from the Avermedia device down into the actual charger here. So uh, just a battery bank, which is right here. Okay, so battery bank is on there. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that on. 
and you'll see that the light lights up on the Aver Media device. And again, you can use Velcro to attach it to that and then take it on and off as you need to. And you can Velcro the two of them together. Just make sure that you leave this top button uh, open because you're going to need to use this. I put an SD card inside of the slot. You're going to need to use this to charge. Or to, sorry, not to charge. You're going to need this so that you can actually record. So now when I hit this, the light should turn and a glow. And now it's basically recording. I'll show you the footage, okay, of the actual device. Now this is going to record in grayscale. So now if you look again, so I've got the power supply, okay, attached, sorry, power supply is attached to the Aver Media device. Then on the Aver Media device, I'm using the supplied cable from them. Okay, so it's right here, it runs. I've got a connection, I just tape it up, I zip tie it and then tape it up and it runs from the device using the blue, or sorry, the green line in on that. Um, and then it runs with the RC cable into the video out section of here. And that will actually tape everything. So now I'll show you a few seconds of the clip of how I recorded. Hopefully that clears everything up um, and, uh, and, and it works for you guys. This is the device that I've used. It was very, very inexpensive and it does work. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much. Um, please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Thank you.